We copy you down, Eagle. The Eagle has landed. My name is David Loftus, and I'm the medical director of the Space Biosciences Division here at NASA Ames Research Center. This is a, a NASA biocapsule. So what you're seeing here is a small capsule that gets implanted uh, somewhere uh, under the skin. And when some threat occurs, when some uh, radiation exposure or other type of threat occurs, the capsule's then triggered to release some therapeutic agent to alter the physiology of the crew member to help them deal with whatever the uh, threat might be. What makes this all work is a technology uh, that was developed here at Ames that involves carbon nanotubes and actually uh, involves the formation of a capsule made entirely of carbon nanotubes that contain cells. This is a uh, an electron micrograph that shows the filaments of the carbon nanotubes in a meshwork. So we have a solution of carbon nanotubes all ready to go here. This is just in a simple solvent, uh, in this case uh, acetone. So I'll just attach that needle and at the tip is a porous plastic which serves as a mold to actually make the capsule. And then just plunge it into the solution and you'll notice that instantly the carbon nanotubes start to deposit on the outside of the mold. And then we remove it from the solution. So now you can remove the needle from the vacuum system. And that's a NASA Ames biocapsule. This would be a, an ideal uh, uh, container for cells that would be programmed to secrete insulin that could potentially help patients with diabetes. Wow. It would be a, a wonderful system for compartmentalizing chemotherapy uh, releasing systems for patients with brain tumors and other types of cancer where you really want to implant these things directly into the tumor bed. Souvenir of the lab. Uh, thank you With so our much. compliments. The NASA biocapsule. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. That was really cool. That was too